Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jeff Parton, and this is the Mortgage Minute. Thanks very much for tuning in, for looking at what we're doing on Facebook or LinkedIn or uh, Instagram, some of the other uh, social media outlets. I really appreciate you looking. Uh, we try to help you decide what to do with your refinance or your purchase. And in these Mortgage Minutes, we touch on a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's get right to it. Uh, mortgage interest rates are up. They've been upward trend uh, in the rates, uh, both on the 30-year and the other um, more hybrid loans. Uh, the 30 years at 3.17, the 15 is at 2.54, FHA is at 2.78, 3.13 for the jumbo, and 2.85 for the 5.1 arm. The 10 year yield is at 1.61. That is up, and it has been going up steadily for about three weeks. Uh, what does this mean? Usually, when the bonds go up, i.e., the 10 year, and that's what we want, uh, we traditionally look at when we're talking about rates, uh, why is it going up? Uh, usually, it goes up when um, U.S. debt does not become, you know, attractive and people need an incentive in order to buy U.S. debt. Therefore, the yield on that debt, the bonds, goes up. Uh, one of the reasons that the debt has um, impacted the bonds and i.e. your mortgage rate is simply because they can't seem to get this um, debt ceiling, even though they've kicked the can down the road to December. But at least for right now, we'll uh, focus in on what the agenda is in Washington to be able to pass national legislation on you know, fixing bridges and roads or some other um, very large spending bill. We're not quite sure what's happening with that here in the uh, mortgage or the, uh, uh, the rates in, in terms of what's happening with the bond market, what's happening with the 10-year, and how it affects you. Some of the things that do affect you, the CFPB, uh, they took AAG to task for some deceptive advertising in AAG, which is a big reverse lender, uh, have to pay out about a million three in fines, which is really a drop in the bucket. But it does show that uh, the aggressive nature of the CFPB is going to affect how loans will be done and the conservative nature by which um, a lot of these lenders will revert to, especially if funds begin to dry up, as well as uh, the overaggressive uh, CFPB energy, $80 a barrel. Okay, that's that's really high. But this is a global thing. This is not a U.S. thing. Uh, most things that are uh, it, like energy, which are global in nature, uh, affecting everybody in the world, um, affects us here in the gas price. It affects uh, China in terms of some cities there in China are actually rationing power to their grid. Uh, China's got some problems, right? And we've seen this both politically and physically. Uh, and that is going to affect what happens in the mortgage market as well, because as markets are uh, spooked uh, by whether the foreign investment that is currently there is safe or not safe, uh, it's going to drive prices of bonds here uh, in a direction which may not be, if, you know, great for mortgage markets. So you have to watch that. A couple things, state banks, private companies. Yeah. So there is a uh, retrenchment by the communist government there to take back a lot of the um, economic improvements they've made via capitalism uh, to put it more un into government control. One of the things is the state banks uh, versus private companies. There's been a lot of, uh, mm, like here in the U.S., private companies and Private banks make a lot of business deals together. But in China, the state owns the bank. So if that is, in fact, what was happening over the last 20 years, whether it's going to continue or not, that's a big problem. Uh, 20 of the top banks in China are right now under investigation by the Xi government. Uh, let's see what else is here. Inflation, yes, inflation is ugly, and it's going to stay here for a while. Uh, whether it's transitional or not, prices have gone up. Ask anybody who buys food, and they'll tell you the same thing. Um, let's see. The bonds of 24, okay, this is another China-related event. And obviously China, because it's the second biggest economy in the world, if things go south there, i.e. they don't make things we want to buy cheap or they don't buy things because we have the raw materials for them, that is going to affect uh, the employment rate here, which affects downstream anybody who needs a job. Although the employment front and what happens in the employment front here in the U.S. and really around the world, whether we're going to get those same jobs uh, being offered at a greater wage or we're going to see an improvement in the immigration policy, somebody has to do these jobs and obviously somebody has to pay the bills uh, with which um, obviously pays for Social Security, um, Medicare, Medicaid, unemployment insurance, all these things are 
by W-2 wages. And if we don't have people at the low end on W-2 wages, it's going to hurt people on the high end receiving them, especially if we, we've we got a huge number of boomers retiring and the quit rate among uh, early retirees in the millennial group is also high. Anyway, it's 5.03 here, so so much for the Mortgage Minute. And I'm Jeff Barton, your voice in the mortgage industry, and uh, this has been the Mortgage Minute, and we'll see you tomorrow.